Turnitin is a specialised search engine and data matching tool that is used by many schools and universities to detect plagiarism or copying by matching blocks of text to previously published materials. Plagiarism is a serious offence and is treated by the University of Portsmouth as such. However, it is part of the staff's responsibility to educate students in good practices. Turnitin can help with this and indeed its primary use in the university is to help you develop good practice in correctly using citations, quotations and references. In order to take full advantage of Turnitin you need to understand what the originality report is telling you and what the similarity index indicates. Once you logged into Moodle go to the unit where you submitted the assignment and go to the drop box. Once inside it will be broken down into the parts you needed to submit and you'll be able to click on the similarity score. Once you've clicked the percentage it will load up the Turnitin document viewer. You will see at the top right the percentage again, in this case it's 42% and this is the amount of your work that overlaps with other work that has already been created out there. It is broken down into coloured chunks and this shows you where your work overlaps with other work and you can also see this in the match overview on the right hand side. So the top match is at 13% and there are a few as well at 1 and 2% and if I scroll through the document you can see there the different colours are highlighted showing me where they are. So work may be quoted and given a citation. If you click the filter button you can choose to exclude quoted materials as well as the bibliography or references section. By clicking on exclude the bibliography it will exclude anything under the title in the document that is under references. This has now dropped my percentage to 31%. You can also see that there are smaller matches of 1 to maybe 3 or 4% and these can also occur because of common terms or phrases that are used within the subject that you are writing about. By excluding 3 or 4% matches it will help to reduce your similarity score. To do that click on the filter section, choose the percentage that you wish to exclude and it should then exclude those 1 to 2% matches. An academic will also be able to change this percentage to fit their criteria of plagiarism. You can still see that there are matches and this could be because there are common terms that are still being picked up. If you click on the arrow you can see where the section is coming from and you can see there is an issue here that your work is matching other work maybe more than it should be. If you look at the full match overview you can look at all the areas that you're getting the matches from. Again click on the arrow and you can see where that match is coming from and if it looks like this paragraph has been copied and pasted in from an external source it is not good academic practice. You may want to revisit this and change it into your own words. Bearing in mind you should not use quotation marks or citations around large chunks of text. All you're then doing is presenting other people's work as your own which again is not good academic practice. You would need to take the paragraph out maybe using a few quotation marks and new citations and rewriting it into your own words. Looking at the larger percentage overlaps you can see that there is a 13% and a 9% here that, that have looked like they've been directly copied from the internet or possibly another source. Again clicking on the arrow you can see where all of the matches have come from and by clicking on the full source view to view the entire piece of text you can see it then in a small preview window. It is a very long paragraph that has been copied and pasted exactly which you would then need to remove, rewrite and use appropriate quotations and citations and of course adding in the correct reference at the end to the work that you are using. By removing the two larger text sections that have been copied, the percentage would now be a much lower and a much more acceptable score. A point of note, however, is that it would not be acceptable to put a large chunk of text in quotation marks and then just give it a reference. This is taking the work of others and not putting in much of your own work, and this could result in you be giving it much lower mark by the member of staff who is marking your work. Another point to note is that there is no set figure in the university regulations that constitutes plagiarism. The regulations simply state a substantial amount and the interpretation of this would be given by the member of staff setting and then marking the work. If you have any doubt you would need to check with that member of staff. You also do not need to get a score of 0% to avoid being accused of plagiarism. 
You will have small fragments and phrases that will always overlap, for instance when using common terminology. If you are ever sure, please do again just check with the member of staff who is setting the work. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.